Chiba. <laughs> what up, Factionistas? And welcome back to Faction Halloween. Tonight we are doing a collab with the one and the only, my BFF Jordan Hans. We're doing a little steampunk zombie with our cute little intro. We hope you guys liked it. We had tons of fun making that. But uh, this goes to collab with Jordan Hans. If you don't know, you live under a rock and she's the most amazing artist of all time. And she will be linked down below, so definitely go give her a follow. She's totes worth it. She's also doing the 31 Days of Halloween, and I love her very much. But without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, hey friends. So I'm starting off with this uh, jaw that I made from Model Magic. Definitely check out Jordan. Jordan has great videos on this. I forgot to record it, but I will next time. <laughs> but um, I'm pulling these goggles back, which I got from the Halloween costume store, which I'll have linked down below, and I'm going in with a little bit of liquid latex on my cheekbone. I'm layering on a little bit of cotton. This is a cotton ball stretched out, and then I'm putting more latex on top of it to seal it in. Essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a mountain on my jaw slash cheekbone area to protrude out so we're going to glue this jaw to that section so it looks almost like a dislocated jaw so there's a great distance up from the jaw to my face so i keep measuring it up and i keep seeing if the distance is enough and if it's not i'm going to go in and add more so i'm adding a little bit of liquid latex to the back of this jaw and then while that's drying i'm going to start onto this cheekbone and do the same process Liquid latex is a contact adhesive, so if you have two sides with liquid latex that are pretty dry, they're going to stick together like magnets. It's great. So with the goggles on, I'm going to position it how I really want it to be in its final makeup. So I'm just looking at it with the goggles, and then you just want to push it right in, and then like a magnet, boom, they're together, and they ain't going nowhere. Boomsy boomsy. Do you love it? I love it. I'm so sad I didn't film this jaw. I wish I would have. So I'm connecting a little bit with cotton and latex to do the same uh, thing that we were doing before, but I'm helping that just to blend into the rest of my face. And then going in, ooh, sorry, my phone. And then going in with a little bit more right underneath my mouth because we're going to attach the second teeth section. So once that's good mountainized, then just glue that right on just like we did the first one. Model Magic is very lightweight. It's a lightweight Play-Doh that I got from the craft store, courtesy of Jordan Hans, and you can make whatever you want out of it, and it's light enough to glue the face, which is perfect. So I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm mixing black, white, and green together to get a foundation base, and I'm applying that all over my face. I kind of decide after it's on that it's a little bit too green, so I add a little bit of blue into it now to kind of uh, gray it up a little bit, and I'm applying that right on top. And you want to just apply that to your whole face without trying to really apply too much of it to that jaw area because we want to keep that very bloody and very um, natural looking. Uh, so, and then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm really pressing it into that latex section because so it really grabs into all of the holes. I'm going in with a, uh, with a tan cream paint. You guys can use concealer or foundation. And I'm just highlighting the face with that to get a little bit of a broken up uh, foundation shade. And then with a loose setting powder, I'm setting all of this because this is cream makeup. I'm using cream makeup on purpose because it grabs the latex better than a water activated can. Do you feel me? So I'm taking a texture sponge and a bruise wheel, and I'm just breaking up this makeup with a little bit of texture. So this sponge is from Makeup Forever, and I love it so much. You guys have seen me use it probably a million times. But I'm using it just to break up that foundation with the brown shade, and then going in with the blue shade to use that to contour. So I'm going right underneath that like cheekbone we created on the right side of my face, and then I'm going to use that to also contour around the forehead. So that's going to add contour and texture at the same time. Yep, just pressing that in, getting lots of colors going on. Uh, realistically, most of this is going to get covered up anyway, but I didn't know that yet, so I was just being very meticulous. And I'm going in with a highlight again to kind of break up that texture because it's a little bit too much in the highlighted areas. And then with the Beauty Blender, I'm just blending that out. But again, this is all going to get covered up. I wasn't sure how gory I was going to go with the zombie, so I wanted to get a nice base going. <laughs> so I'm setting that again with the loose powder. Realistically, you don't have to do all this because we're going to cover it all up. <laughs> So I'm taking a little bit of a warm brown eyeshadow that's a little dark, and I'm sweeping that in my brow bone and my crease area of my eye, as well as underneath my eye. So with the goggles, um, you know, you're not going to see much, but you're going to see a little bit. So you want to add a little bit of definition in there to really tie in your eyes to the rest of the makeup. So just sweeping that underneath the eye um, as well. And then with the extra shadow on the brush, using it to contour my nose, which again, doesn't get shown. I was realizing that my forehead is kind of flat, so I'm adding more liquid latex to my nose, cheeks, and forehead. And then throwing on some cotton and doing that same technique to really get that texture going because we're going to end up tearing this later on. 
I'm applying some petroleum jelly to my eyebrows to protect it from when we remove this latex later on and making sure that I still have eyebrows underneath. And then putting more latex on top of that with some more cotton to add that texture. And this is going to block out our eyebrows too, which is going to get more of a less human look since you don't have brows. You feel me? <laughs> so now I'm going in and I'm tearing them just to get those holes and we're going to fill that with fake blood later on. So I'm going in with a red face paint and this is going to be our primer for our blood. Oh, sorry. You don't need this. You don't really need to have um, the red face paint, but it's going to act as a, like a little bit of a primer and it's going to be a more thick and pigmented red blood so i'm just using that to just add as a base because i wasn't sure how pigmented the blood i have is so i'm just applying that all around that fake jaw and in all of the holes that we made with latex now we're going to do some work on the eyes i'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow to deepen that again we have the goggles so most of this is going to get covered up but you do want to have a little bit of unison in your makeup so just add some dark eyeshadow to get it really pigmented and then i'm going in with a black cream paint with this little rake brush from make em forever which is great for texture and i'm just applying that right in my eye area to get an uneven dark coverage and tapping that in which is why i use a cream paint so i can really buff it in with my finger and then I'm going in with Mehran's Stage Blood, and I'm applying that everywhere we applied the red face paint. So we're adding all the blood now. So this is a high shine fake blood that's not going to dry. It's going to stay shiny like this until you remove it, which is great. And I'm just applying that all over the place. I'm starting off with just the very obvious areas, and then now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow, and then I'm going to go with some black face paint. So I'm using it to contour a little bit around the brow bone and the temple area dragging that into my eye and then I'm going to go in with some black cream paint and that rake brush again and I'm going to kind of start applying black and I'm going to start mixing it with the blood to get almost like an oil effect and this is really going to add that grungy and really uh, translate that this guy is super dead and super bloody and very zombie-ish and then with some more fake blood I'm applying that now to the actual jaw piece and to the gums of that jaw piece so it looks really fresh you feel me? And then finishing off with that texture sponge again. So now this is the star of the show. This is Makeup Forever's Blister Effect Gel. And I'm using this now and I'm going to apply it to the jaw area. And it's like this thick gooey product that sets and it gets a little bit thicker as it lays. But I'm going in first with the nozzle because it didn't work. It was too much at once. So with the nozzle, I'm squeezing the tube as I move it down to get this stringy mucus effect. And it's so gross and it looks so cool. And I'm just doing that all over the jaw. So this product, it, it, it's liquid inside. You don't have to heat it up or anything. You just apply it straight to the face. And it's a very thick gel with a, like a really mucus texture. And then once it's in the air for uh, long enough, it'll um, start to set and it'll stay in that shape. So it's still very movable and you can still mess it up if you grab it. But it'll stay, it'll stay put and it, it, it thickens a lot. So then I took the little nozzle off. And I'm adding humongous chunks now. And I'm really just tying in this jawline to our makeup. And it's just it's so gross. I love it so much. Some of it mixed with the fake blood, which is perfect. And some of it stays that true mucus color. And you just, I mean, honestly, just apply it everywhere. This is the coolest stuff ever. This is my first time using it. And I'm obsessed. So I was realizing that my cheek is a little bare now. It's a little too flat. So I'm adding just a little bit more latex. I'm going to wait for that to set. And then I'm going to tear it again like we did to the forehead. And then I'm going to add some more fake blood and all that good stuff. But going in now to our pre-existing ones, I'm adding fake blood into that wound hole and then on that flaps of the skin to translate a little bit more realism. And then we're just going to start splattering blood everywhere. And then we're going to go back in with that black face paint or that black cream paint. We're really going to texturize this up and really darken it up, which is, again, why that green foundation doesn't really matter. <laughs> but uh, so now I'm just ripping that eye area to get that flapping skin using latex to get that flapping skin effect. And then we're going to go in with some fake blood. So see, like this is the fake blood without any... Um, without any red face paint underneath it. It's a little bit more red than the other stuff. It's a, less, a little bit less of a dark red, but it still gets the job done. But I'm going with the goggles too to kind of see what sides are exposed. And then since whatever looks too flat and too exposed, I'm using that fake blood now with a mixture of maybe getting some uh, black cream paint and I'm kind of covering up any of the areas that look a little too exposed and bare. But I'm adding a little bit more fake blood to the mucus areas as well as that jaw piece that we had made. and then really just grunging it up. So this is um, some black paint mixed with blood and I'm just adding that to the mouth area, up the sides of the nose, and this is kind of a little bit more detail work. You kind of just want to break up any of that flat color 
that we see on the face because again this is a zombie you can get as you know dirty as you want it i'm not going to say the g word that rhymes with um grungy i'm not going to say it i'm not i won't say it in this video nope <laughs> but again i'm just going to continuing on with uh with this technique to really break up the color so now I'm going in with Tooth Effects by May Run, and this is in the color Nicotine, and I'm using that to color the tops of the fake teeth on her fake jaw, and then I'm going to go in with this color as well as fake blood, and I'm going to apply that to my actual teeth as well. So what you want to do with this is you want to dry off your teeth first, and you just want to paint it on. It tastes like toothpaste, and then it dries as a film on your teeth, and it'll last all night. It's real gross. <laughs> Let it dry before you close your mouth. So I'm going in with a black eyeshadow now, and I'm just contouring, and my autofocus has really tested me right now. But I'm just going in to make a little bit of brow furrows and contour out some areas. Going in with that Mayron Texture Sponge with some black cream paint and applying it all around the face. And then tearing some more even extra latex. I decided that the forehead needed a little bit more love. So since there's latex everywhere, you have the opportunity to really rip it anywhere. And then just check with the goggles, see what areas are looking flat again. And then just go in with some texture, some black paint, some blood, and really just get it all going. So you can see now it's really starting to turn into this burnt mucus man, and I love it. So I'm popping in these contacts from ScaleraLenses.com. These are in the color Eerie Fairy. And then I'm putting my goggles on for the final time because we will not be removing them now because we're going to go in with this mucus. And we're going to tie these goggles into the makeup by streaming them from our face right into the goggles. This is, um, you know, you, you do struggle a little bit with this gel effect because it's meant to be, be blisters. It's not really meant to string like this. But once you get it down, you don't have to mess with it anymore. It's going to set and it's going to stay. But... These goggles will now be on your face for the entire evening since you've incorporated them into your final makeup, but it looks so cool. So I'm just using this now to just really stream from the goggles into that jaw, into my face, and really make it uniform and like a very cohesive makeup by incorporating all these things together in one. I love it. Oh, oh, by the way, these goggles are from um, WholesaleHalloweenCostumes.com, and it's the steampunk ones. They come separate from the steampunk costume that I'm wearing, but um, they're very affordable. And I have a coupon code for you, too, for 20% off. If Even if you guys aren't doing one of my makeup looks, why pay full price for a costume? Seriously. But now I'm just taking that texture sponge, and I'm dragging black face paint into my costume so there's no human skin really showing to really incorporate that all together. Make sure you get your ears really good, too. And then once you find yourself in that spot, you're pretty much set. I'm just going in with a lot of last final touches with this blister effect gel and just creating some around my mouth, into my nose, and all that good stuff. But that's the finished tutorial, my friends. I really hope that you guys loved this gory, mucusy, deconstructed jaw zombie and Jordan Han's look as well. So definitely go check out her channel. Give her a subscribe. Tell her I sent you. Tell her I love her. And we can all hang out on the internet together. Like I said, she's doing 31 days of Halloween. We do it together every year. And she's the best. So I love you guys so much. And I really hope that you guys like this video and learned something cool and got a little giggle in the intro. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow night. And have fun. And happy Halloween. And all that good stuff. <laughs> Bye, friends.